We get hate because we lasered our baby's face. Instantly, the moment he was born, we got the confirmation that it was a port wine stain birthmark. He had his first laser treatment when he was five months old. I felt like I needed to put my son's story out there. One person told me to put my child down. Other people say, you're an abusive parent, you shouldn't be doing this to your child. That we were horrible people, we shouldn't have kids. So that hurt a little bit. Have you ever regretted your decision to get treatment for Kingsley at such a young age? Um. We love going to the beach, especially during summer on the weekends. We love going on long drives. We like to go away, take the kids to theme parks. My name is Brooke. I am 34 years old. I'm Kilney Wallace. I'm 28 years old. We've been together for almost five years and we have two babies together. Our daughter is Amani and she's three and our son is Kingsley and he is 16 months old. Amani's the most energetic out of the two. Definitely, yeah. Um, Kingsley's coming up, like he's slowly getting there, but he can't walk yet. So Amani's definitely the more hyperactive one. We're a good team. Yeah, he thinks he's the boss. He knows who the boss is though, but you know, we're a good team. <laughs> Where are you going? Hey, hey, no. <laughs> my pregnancy with Kingsley was even better than my pregnancy with the Marnie. There was nothing to alert us that anything was wrong. It was smooth sailing right up until we had him. <gasps> if you want to sit up, you can. Mummy's just got to put this on. Ready? <gasps> wow. Instantly, the moment he was born, they knew it was a birthmark, but we, didn't know what type yet. And then we got the confirmation that day that it was a Port Wine stain birthmark. Um, and then obviously later on, we found out about the Sturge Brothers syndrome. When we started Googling, that's when I started getting concerned because of the type of birthmark it was and the pictures that are in Google images scared the hell out of us. <gasps> so it would affect his eyesight, it could be linked to Sturge Weber syndrome, which then would be neurological issues. Oh, oh, oh. There's also the complications in the future with the Port Wine stain birthmark itself, where it can develop growths, vascular blebs, where it can bleed out and the face becomes disportioned. Yeah, there's quite a few issues. We had his first laser treatment when he was five months old. It was probably one of the most difficult decisions I've ever had to make. Were you scared when Kingsley went in for his laser treatment? Absolutely scared. I was, yeah. as a parent, like, it was one of the hardest things that I've ever had to, to kind of go into. I couldn't stay in the room. I actually left the room, whereas dad was in there with him, but everything in me just broke. Did Kingsley need to have laser surgery? There are a lot of parents that don't. Choose not to. A lot of people think we're going to give, a, like, let our child ha make that decision when they're older. Have you ever regretted your decision to get treatment for Kingsley at such a young age? Um, during, during the process, yeah. We have, yeah, we had but, moments um, when he was crying yeah. that, like, we were like, we don't want to do this again. And like, by the fourth one, it was kind of like, do we go again or not? It, yeah, the whole thing was difficult, but would we regret it? Absolutely not. We didn't want to wait. We wanted to do it then and there, and then he won't remember. It'd be a lot more stressful when he's older than when he was a baby. After the laser treatment yeah. had stopped, and it looked really painful. I feel like it looked, it looked worse than um, how he felt because he was fine afterwards. He was happy. Yeah. yeah. Are you sharing? Oh. What about your decision to share your story online and with the media? Why did you do this? So I was already on TikTok. So when Kingsley was born and we were really kind of taken back with everything, we had no clue what this was. I felt like I needed to Come, Mama. put my son's story out there to spread awareness around it. You have been asking on my son's birthmark and the year of hell that we have had. If it's not a birthmark, then what is it? He has 
what they call Sturge Weber syndrome. I had a lot of other parents of Port Weinstein children just come up to me and like message me and thank me and be like, thank you for sharing your story. This means a lot to my child. I had a lot of families say like, this has helped me make my decision easier. Then I had the negative side. One person told me to put my child down. Other people say, you're an abusive parent and you shouldn't be doing this to your child. That we were horrible people, we shouldn't have kids, social welfare should come take our children. He should make the decision for himself when he's older. Yeah, there was a few hurtful comments and at the beginning it used to get to me a lot, but I chose rather than react to educate them. And if they don't want to be educated, to block. Hello. How are you? Good, thank you. Our families were, they supported us to have the, to, to decide on um, doing laser for him. What are you doing? Yes. Who's that? Is that Nanny? You want to go to Nanny? When I heard that Kingsley was getting laser surgery, I knew that it was for his best interest. I know his parents are doing the best they can and what's best for him. And it's when he goes to school. It's all those things. People can be pretty cruel. People don't know the real story. They only just see things written up, but they actually don't know the reasons behind it. Worst thing that we would have had said is just saying that like, I'm, I'm a horrible mum. We're child abusers. Just the abusive part really kind of got to me because, you know, we love and care for our kids. So that hurt a little bit. He's smiling. <laughs> I just feel they judge people, but you're always going to get that. I would have made that decision to have him lay, have the laser treatment without a doubt. How do you feel about the way he looks now? I feel like he's always looked great. Like, it's still there. His birthmark yeah. is always going to be there. It's just purely to make the skin healthier and um, and obviously in the, the same time, it is going to lighten it. But he's beautiful. I love him. I love him. I think he's got this beautiful little head. Remember, people are always going to give you criticism, especially if you put it out there online, but don't take it in too much. Don't take it to heart. Make decisions based on the best choices you think are for your children. What does the future hold for you as a family? Keep spreading awareness for our son's conditions. Yeah, just keep going up from here, I guess, and educating ourselves and just making sure our children have the best life.